Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Please click the subscribe button and press the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we are going to learn about the patch method. Before going further, let's see what is patch method in the REST API. The patch method is a request method supported by the HTTP protocol for making partial changes to an existing resource. The patch method provides an entity containing a list of changes to be applied to the resource requested using the HTTP uniform resource identifier. The patch method is atomic. Either all the changes specified by the patch method are applied or none of the changes are applied by the server. Patch method is not idempotent. It can be made idempotent by using a conditional request. But the question is, why is it not idempotent? Because when we are executing the patch request the very first time, then it will update the particular fields. But from next time onwards, patch expect the old value. But since the value is already modified, then it starts giving the error. And that is why patch method is not idempotent. But that statement not always true. Now the very important question is why we should use patch method. What is wrong with the put method? Using put, we can modify the changes. But the problem with the put is like we need the complete object. No matter all the property of the class you are going to modify or not. So if you are going to modify all the properties, then it's okay. Put is the best option. But what if you want to update only one or two values? Then in that case of put, it will update all the values. No matter property value is actually going to modify or not. So if there is no change in the property, then also put will modify all the properties. And if the object size is too big and there are some dependent objects then put method end up with the performance issue so i hope you understood something why we need to go with patch instead of put don't worry at the end of this video you will come to know the importance of the patch method i hope now we have a basic understanding let's see how to implement the patch method our project is already up and running if you are following my videos then you are aware about the book rest api project let's open the readme md file here are the sample endpoints let's first test the get endpoint See, it's working. Now, let's execute the post endpoints. See, post is also working. Now, let's execute the put endpoint. For the put, we need to add ID also as part of the request. Here, just change the price also. See, price value updated successfully. Now, let's say if we remove the language and change the price value. See, request executed successfully, but if you observe, language value set to null. Now, other than price and id, let's remove all the fields. Change the price value also. Now, you can clearly see all the removed values are now null, but the price value still modified. So, I hope you understood now, like the partial update is not possible using the put. If we try, then other values will replace with the null. So, that is not the expected behavior. So, this record is corrupted. So, better, let's delete this record. See, record deleted successfully. After delete, now we have only one record. Now let's see how to implement the patch method. First, open the resource interface. So like we declared the other method, the same way, let's add the declaration for the patch method also. Like others, for patch annotation is patch mapping. Here, we are expecting the path variable as id. Instead of path variable, we can pass the id as part of the request body also. But just to make it simple, we are passing the id through the url. Now, let's declare the method. So here, one parameter is uuid, which is coming from the path variable. And another variable is a map of fields, where key and value both are the object, which will come from the request body key we can use as a string also. Here, just to make it simple, id and fields be separated. See, declaration is simple. Now, let's implement this method in the book resource inpl class. Here, id is coming as a parameter. So, call find by id and get the existing book object. Add check like id must not be null. So, inside this if, code will look like same as update method. So, copy and paste. Now, let's implement the desired code. As you can see, there is one parameter which is the map. So, let's iterate the map. Now, we can use the reflection utils class which is a part of spring package. And inside this class, there is a static method and that method is find field which can help us to identify the book class property using the key. As the key is an object, so we need to typecast to string. And this find field returns field object. 
inside this field class there is a method called set accessible and that value we need to set to true then only we can access through the reflection api which is using internally by the reflection utils class which is provided by the spring like find field there is another method called set field so this set field will help us to update the value in the book object and that's it don't worry we will debug the code and check the output line by line but this is the desired code so for debug purpose let's add the breakpoint now let's start the server in a debug mode Server started without any error. First, let's save one record using the post method. The record saved successfully. First, I'll show you the put method. So for the update, we need to add ID also as part of the request body. Here, let's change the price value. See price value updated successfully. Now let's see how the patch method works. Select the method type from put to patch. Now from the request body, let's remove ISBN, price and language. As I'm passing ID as a path variable, so remove ID as from the request body and add ID as part of the URL. Change the title and author value. Now our request body is partial because in request body we are considering only title and author. We saw earlier when we use same thing using the put method, that time other value replaced with the null. That time whatever values were present in the request body, those value updated, but other values replaced with the null. But this time we are using patch. So let's click on the send button. As I added a debug point, so let's go back to the resource IM field class. Now press F6. As our ID is valid, so now debug point reached to the next line. Press F6 again. This is the very first time here, just I am giving demo you the changes directly. We'll update again the book object using the patch, then I'll show you everything in detail. But here you can see request executed successfully. Here you can see the title and author value modified. That means our patch method is working as expected. This time let's modify other three values. So let's copy the other three values. Now let's change the values for ISBN, price and language. Click on the send button as there is a debug point. So let's open the resource IMP class. Here add one more debug point inside the for loop. So we can check the field value also. Now you can see we are inside the loop. And the field value is ISBN number and the type is long. Press F8 again. And this time field value is price and the type is double. Press again F8. And this time field value is language and type is string. All three value covered. The press F8 again. See now we outside the loop. As I wanted to modify three values, so three values are coming as part of the map. Now press F6 for each step and F8 for directly reach out to the next debug point. And it's done. Now you can see all three values updated. Call the get method. And you can see all three values modified properly. This time, let's update the only title. You can see the title value updated. As we saw using the patch, we can update any value like only one or more than one. I hope you understood the importance about the patch method. Now let's stop the server. Let's review the changes. Let's modify the readme.md file also. This file will help you when you download the code, you'll get the understanding about the endpoints and all. So this will help you. That's why I'm just modifying whenever I'm adding any changes. Add the patch method. Let's close everything. I committed the patch method related changes. I'll show you from where you can find these changes. So let's open our GitHub page. Here is the repository. And here are the changes. I hope you learned something from this video. That's it for this video. Next video, we will learn how can we cache the response using the rest. Please subscribe and press the bell icon. And thanks for watching.